Investigation underway after a car crash in Sheboygan County. More rain could cause flooding. Habitat for Humanity Lakeside announces big goal. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review. News content service, WSCS TV. News content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, September 12, 2019. Police are investigating three home burglaries in Sheboygan over the last several days. Though there are no specific evidence that the burglaries are linked, police say they do share common elements. In each case, someone entered a home while people were inside the home. Also, the doors to the home were unlocked, and in each case, the wallets or purses that were stolen out were out in the open within a few steps of the unlocked entryway. Police say at this time, some of the stolen property has been recovered, but no one has been arrested for the burglaries. According to the police, most property crimes and crimes are crimes of opportunity. And the best strategy we can use is to take away the opportunities by doing simple things like locking your doors and making sure your valuables are secure. An investigation is underway in Sheboygan County after a car accident on Wednesday morning. It happened around 9 o'clock on the Highway 23 and TT. There has been no word yet on any injuries or how many vehicles were involved. Sheboygan County authorities say that they are still working on the accident scene. The cause is still being investigated. Kohler schools are wrestling with the problem of finding more parking in limited space. Proposals to solve the problem were presented by Bray Architects at last month's Village Board meeting. Those proposals address safety during busy school times as well as providing extra parking for events. Plans variously either eliminating or relocating a playground or vacating portions of the upper road which require action by the village board. Left unaddressed was the issue of snow removal and management, something that often takes up parking spaces. No decisions were reached during the August 19th meeting. Heavy rains are once again threatening more flooding problems in northeast Wisconsin, especially in the Green Bay area and here in Sheboygan County. Rain from the past few days is reportedly now pushing up the water levels by the east side of Green Bay. Flooding struck back in March too, and many residents are still recovering from the heavy flood damage. This week, the Green Bay Fire Department sent out a notice to the residents advising people about the potential for flooding, especially Wednesday night into Thursday which could also have a significant effect on the Sheboygan area. Back in March, rivers flooded onto city streets, forcing many residents to evacuate. A Kiwani man found with over 4,000 sexual images of children as young as infants will spend five years in federal prison. 19-year-old Kyle Sanderson pleads guilty to one count of distribution of child pornography. Sanderson was sending pornographic images and videos of children to other users and was exchanging with others through a New Zealand-based cloud storage service, according to charges. Eastern District of Wisconsin Chief Judge William Greisbach noted the serious nature of the crime and the need to send a message of deterrence while issuing the sentence. Greisbach could have handed Sanderson 20 years if convicted of all counts, and Sanderson will spend five years on supervised release after serving his sentence and will have to register as a sex offender. And finally, housing costs are an issue for many in Sheboygan County, and Habitat for Humanity Lakeside would like to make progress against the growing problem. 
The goal, according to Executive Director Sarah Bachman, is to build 20 homes, repair another 55, and complete hundreds of other projects in the next five years. The program announced on Tuesday is called Rock the Block and would require 10,000 people to volunteer or donate over $10 million to the effort. Bachman admits that it is a big but reachable goal and it's important for the 34% of Sheboygan County families who live paycheck to paycheck, unable to save for emergencies, and Habitat for Humanity does not give homes away, but rather selects buyers based upon many factors, including need, credit, and ability to make payments. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.